For Women's History Month, we've been reflecting on the many inspirational women who have made an impact on our country. Thomas Hoppo introduces us to the first woman to lose a limb in active combat to become a two-time Paralympian and how she's continuing to motivate other women like her. Honestly, I feel like the best way to inspire others is almost to lead by example. In April of 2004, U.S. Army officer Melissa Stockwell set off on a ride along to learn the route of a supply delivery convoy. She hadn't been in Iraq long. I was there only three weeks before um, a roadside bomb took, took, took my leg. Losing a leg is something that you never expect. It, um, you know, I was sent to Walter Reed Army Medical Center, which at the time is, was in Washington, D.C. It's where all the wounded soldiers went from, from Iraq and Afghanistan. Stockwell's life was changed forever, but she chose to accept the loss and move on. A philosophy of life she holds dear. Anytime I had a bad moment or a bad day, I just had to kind of look around and realize that how, how lucky I was. You know, I'd only lost one leg. I had my mind, my, my heart, my, you know, my life because too many continue to give and give that ultimate sacrifice. So really putting things in perspective and kind of deciding that it didn't matter if I only had one leg or two, I wanted, I wanted to still kind of get out, live the life that I wanted to live and live my life for those that um, had given that ultimate sacrifice. You know, I found sports early on in my rehabilitation and it truly just made me feel alive. It gave me self-confidence, self-worth, and I just, I um, have kind of made, made a, 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 my, my life sports. She made history in the 2008 Summer Paralympics as the first woman to lose a limb during active combat to compete in swimming. Swimming. And in 2016, she won a bronze medal in the triathlon. The opportunities I've had, experiences being on the podium at the you know highest elite level, showing the world how much ability is in a disability, hoping to inspire you know the next generation of someone who might have a, a disability, the next generation of, of wounded veterans. Stockwell continues to train and is aiming to compete in the 2024 Paralympics. And she's dedicated to inspiring other women just like her, and using her platform to help wounded veterans. One of the elementary schools just a few months ago, there was a little girl, she was in a wheelchair and uh, she was she was so cute. I mean, we she I just learned how to ski and just kind of sharing stories and, you know, encouraging her to get out there and, you know, try everything and it's it's pretty awesome. If my story can impact somebody in a positive manner, that's kind of the the cherry on top of it all. Thomas Hoppo, Scripps News, Colorado Springs.